there are so many people out there who no matter think that uh, I'll burn the Quran and it will hurt the Muslims. I'll burn the, the Bible. It, it will hurt the Christians. As a Muslim, let me defend my own in the first place. And I'm, if it is by burning the Quran, let the whole world gather together at one place and burn the Quran. We shall produce the Quran in, within a twinkling of an eye. Burning the Quran doesn't change anything. You are hurting yourself. You are filled with hate. You are the one who is hurting yourself. There is a video of a guy who tear the Quran and then uh, bent it. I don't know what he's implying. I don't know what he's implying. If you're not religious and you claim religion has brought division, by burning the Quran and causing pains into the heart of people who make people love you, 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 are, you, are, you are the one causing much more division again and hatred again. For no Muslim has burnt the Bible before. No Muslim has burnt any atheist uh, scripture before. You understand? And this is on record. So not burning the Bible will not stop Christians from being Christians. Burning the Quran will not stop the Muslim from becoming Muslims. I believe in a rational dialogue. I believe that when we meet and we discuss uh, logically, those who want to accept the truth will accept the truth. Burning the Quran doesn't change anything. Let's watch this video and come. Quran. So the culture of uh, burning the Quran is popular in Europe. It started in Europe. They have, they have what you call burn the Quran. They, Alhamdulillah, currently the, the, the place, the land where they uh, burn the Quran at in Sweden has been bought by the Ummah. Allahu Akbar. They have bought it. So currently they don't have a place to burn the Quran again. Burning the Quran doesn't change anything. The Quran is in our heart. We memorize the Quran. We read it from our heart. And there are people who have memorized the Quran and have written it off head. Some twice, some thrice, some ten times. And there are people who have memorized the Quran cover to cover. And there are types of memories. There are people who, who even when you pick up a Quran and open a page, they can tell you the page you've opened. Wallahi billahi lazim. Without even looking at, uh, looking at it, they will tell you the page or the surah you've opened. There are those memorizers over there. So you burning the Quran doesn't change anything. That won't stop Muslims from becoming Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, they want to extinguish Allah's light with their mouth, but Allah will complete his light, even though the disbelievers who bend the Quran does not, does not even like it or they dislike it. It is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion to make it prevail over all religions even though the idolaters dislike it. As Muslims, we are cautioned not to even insult idolaters. We are cautioned not to even insult your gods. We are cautioned not to even insult your belief system. We are cautioned not to even burn your churches, your synagogues, and your places. But sometimes we wonder how you've been brainwashed to hate Muslims that much. Let's look at these verses. The Quran says, and the Quran says verse number 108, it says, It says, do not insult those who call upon beside Allah, lest they insult Allah out of hostility in ignorance. We made attractive to every community their deeds. Then to their Lord is their return, and he will inform them of what they used to do. So everybody who is... Uh, 
whether you are those who are practicing gay feels happy of what they are doing they feel that is it so leave them in the camera god will judge but yours is to convey the message you're not to you're not supposed to insult them uh, if someone is a christian he feels what he's doing is right everybody in his deeds feels what he's doing is right until they meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge each and everyone tell them what they used to do now let's look at quran uh, chapter number 22 verse number 40 it says الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله. those who were unjustly evicted from their homes merely for saying our Lord is Allah. ولا لا دفع الله ناس بعضهم ببعض له دمت سوامع وبيع وبيع وصلوات ومساجد يذكر فيها اسم الله كثيرا. it says, ah it says, were it not that Allah repels people by means of others then like monasteries churches synagogues and mosques where the name of allah is mentioned much um, it says um allah support whoever he supports him in uh, allah allah is strong and mighty now over here over here uh this translation is very bad we don't we don't use a strong strength to Allah. Uh -huh. We use power. Now, Allah is powerful and mighty. That is the best word to be used over here. That's what the difference between the one who has stated and the one who hasn't. Now, um, Allah is saying that we shouldn't destroy monasteries, we shouldn't destroy churches, we shouldn't destroy synagogues. Talk less of their holy scriptures. So how come? How come you hate us so much? Why burn in our Quran? What will that add you? Will that remove the hate in your heart? Will that remove the enviness in your heart? This is what you do. That some of us who do not, uh, who cannot uh, hold on to or control their heart, will see them uh, attacking you, and you end up saying Muslims are impatient, Muslims are evil. You understand? Uh, when you burn the Bible, it doesn't change anything from Christianity. The Christian will remain a Christian. When you burn the churches, it won't change anything from Christianity. The Christian will remain a Christian. So why burn their books? What what will that benefit you? If you feel they are lost, call them their brothers. Teach them. Have a dialogue with them. And see whether they are lost or you are the one who is lost. That is much more important than physical attacks to people. Let's all reason and let's all desist from this. It won't help. Let's have a dialogue. Let's have a chat. Let's have a debate on issues that we don't understand professionally. So that we will not even uh, go to the extent of uh, dehumanizing each other and killing each other. May Allah have mercy on us all, inshallah.